are. We are all over it. Hello. Come on, Ray. I'm driving. Kissing, or do they just, you know, get right to it? Well, um, they blow bubbles. Like this? Mm hmm. And sometimes they mouth each other's necks. Oh, you mean like this? Just like that. Lay on the beach, make love in the water. Coming back as a sea lion in my next lifetime. They only live an average of 25 years. They should come back as a human, okay? Hey, it's not how long you live. It's how you live. What do you think in trying to dive like that? Has a degree of difficulty of 3.0. I can nail it, You almost hit your head on the platform. I know, I know. 
You want to win that scholarship, Jeanette, you got to get your tuck down. Make that break happen sooner. Try something more manageable, like, like an inward one and a half. Watch how Bainbridge does it. An eight and a half. You both know you can beat that. Haul your boat up there and try it again. You got it, Coach. Chambers, how many times do I got to tell you? No running around the pool. You want to crack your head open? Sorry, I'm just pumped. Yeah, yeah, you're always pumped. I can forward one and a half with a full twist down. Well, that's wonderful, but girls' practice doesn't start for another 15. No, I got to show you now. Please. Come on. <sighs> talking about. Do you have any idea the amount of chemicals you just ate? No. How can you eat like that? Hey, I could be dead before sunset. How can you talk about it like that, Les? I mean, it's death you're talking about here, you know? The end, over and out. It is what it is. Well, face it, we're all gonna die sometime. Not me. I'm gonna have my body frozen till they find a cure for whatever it is I've got. Good plan. Unless you get hit by a truck. Why does everybody always say you're gonna get hit by a truck? Do you know anybody who's been hit by a truck? Don't even go there. No, near misses don't count. Mm -hmm. Nobody gets hit by a truck. Right. Nobody gets hit with a heart condition like mine, either. Are you gonna eat that? Hey. Hey. Hi. Hey. Hey. Love your perfume. A de sardine? Smelt. Nice. Enjoy your alakeka. You're so sweet. You want to go to the Valentine's dance? Do you? Relax. I have, like, zero interest in you romantically. Tell him how you really feel, Leslie. Ah, and I suppose you're going with GQ Jordan. In his dreams. <laughs> so what's the plan tonight? Finish my Caesar and uh, hold up a 7-Eleven. <laughs> what's that smell? You still doing that marine biology thing, Rachel? Yeah. So incredible. Thanks. Well, I have a plan B if you're up for it. <laughs> it's like gum in the lock after six period. Clever girl. We get caught. We won't. You sure you don't want to bail on us? No, I'm okay with it, really. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! No! Take it off, Wes. <laughs> yeah. Going off the platform? Ah, in the dark? <laughs> yeah. Uh -uh. <laughs> Could you um, help me with my zipper? Thanks. Nice. Not much, yeah. I said we move on to plan C. 
Oh yeah? Time to get naked! <laughs> What are you waiting for? Pass. Come on. Don't you remember that time that you and I skinny dipped down at Black's Beach? Show Matthew a little trick. <laughs> Good girl, Molly. Man, you're such a smart dog. Oh, I know just his butt. I ah. cannot even get her to roll over. I'd get another reason to keep me around. Rachel. I'm sorry. It's just that this. Hey. There is nothing between me and Vanessa. I just needed to hear you say it. Why don't we go to that beach in Australia right after graduation? Are you serious? Absolutely. <laughs> Where you been? Grabbed a bite, walked around. You walked around? Where? Where you on cross streets? Matt, it's a school night. No. Mm -hmm. Hey. Have you been drinking? No. Look, I just don't want you to blow it. I pulled more than a few strings to get you enrolled in that school, not to mention the cost. Dad, why do you always assume I'm gonna blow it? I'm working my ass off. Well, maybe if you spent a little less time with your girlfriend and more time studying, you wouldn't have to work oh, so hard. Oh, man, you know, you don't have a clue. What's wrong with you? What's Matthew? Yeah, so does this. I don't understand. No, you don't. So let me make it crystal clear. I don't want to be with you, Vanessa, all right? Not now, not ever. Get that in your head and get out of my life.
So, you want to dance? Huh? Um, right after I freshen up, okay? Promise me a wait right here? <laughs> Anything you say. Nobody. Everybody. I don't know. I'm just happy tonight. Is more How could love you so? Drugs or what, man? Um, for sure, man. Like, I'm totally looted out. <laughs> Difficulty 3.0. You're serious? 
Yeah, nobody on the team can do this dive. It's gonna be a slam dunk with the college scouts. So just, you gotta see it. Come on, do it. Just, just don't, don't move. Okay. All right. Dizzy for a second. Okay, let's go back to the dance. No, no, I'm okay. I just uh, I have to focus. Did you try and resuscitate her? It's okay, Matt. Just answer the question. I, 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 don't, I don't know. Did you take any drugs tonight? No. no. Well, how do you explain the condition you're in? We're just trying to make sense of what happened here, Matthew. Everything looks stable, but I'd like to hold him another 24 hours for observation. You have any idea how much trouble you're in? A girl is dead for sake. This is not something you can fix by going to traffic court. It's forever. Pretend I'm not here. Pretend it didn't happen. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to face the fact that Rachel's dead, and you are the one responsible.
correct this time. I, 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 um, um, I just, I wanted to say I, I'm really, I'm, just, I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry. Matthew. Matthew, uh, you need to come with us, please. under arrest. practically an admission of guilt. I didn't do any drugs. That's a lie. The blood tests are conclusive, Matthew. You had 290 milligrams proxifene in your system. How do you explain that? I, I can't. You mean you won't? Oh, Matthew. You've already messed up everything else. The least you could do is tell us the truth. Nick. Speak to me outside, please. Maybe I should talk to him alone, Nick. He is my son. That's my point. You're too close to this. Go arrange his bail. I don't think that's a good idea. If he's going to learn anything at all from this, he needs to suffer the consequences of his actions. dialed in, but I'd be the first to go. Nothing makes sense to me anymore. I've got a lot of problems with this whole thing. You no. Know, I know Matthew was stressed out. I had no clue he was using. Yeah, it doesn't gel. I mean, he doesn't even drink. I tried to visit him, but he won't see anybody. I'm the one who's responsible for this. What are you talking about? <laughs> if I hadn't shown you all how to sneak in, Rachel would still be alive. <laughs> she looks like an angel, doesn't she? You do good work, Betty. I can't take credit when they're as young and pretty as she is. Such a shame. It's a fine line between life and death. Just look at her. You'd almost expect her to wake up and walk out of here any second. The body's only a shell anyway. Wherever she's gone, she's already there. 
Did you hear about the pileup on the uh, five? Eleven dead. Oh my. I'll have to order more putty. Mm. That's odd. I think you got a bad batch of film. Matthew? Your bail's been posted. Thanks, Coach. Yeah. Listen, Jeanette. You've been suspended from school, which means you're no longer on the team. I'm sorry. Oh, it doesn't matter. Of course it matters. Listen, right now, all you want to do is give up, but don't. Don't even try, Coach. You have no idea what's going on inside my head right now, and you know, I couldn't even save her. I wish I could say everything was going good, Rachel. <laughs> that my dad's funeral was enough for a lifetime, you know? Next time you decide to die. Don't. But I guess it was meant to be. We all have to get on with our lives now. Including Matthew and me. Mom. Daddy? Guys. <laughs> Les, Ev, come on. Get out. You get out. What is happening here? Why can't anybody see me? Hello, Rachel. Who are you? You can call me Will.
unless you have a twin sister. I'm afraid you're dead. The following product and or service has been approved for your use. When did I die? Three days ago. The last thing I remember is running after Matthew. He was drowning. He didn't. You did. Well, what have I been doing for the last three days? Being dead. Technically speaking, I should have pulled you out sooner. But I wanted to do a little sightseeing. Have you been to the zoo? There is a gorilla exhibit. What? <laughs> OK. This is not for real, right? <laughs> okay. Wake up, Rachel! You're not asleep. You're deceased. Then what am I still doing here? Closure. What? Closure. You need it as much as those left behind. It's standard operating procedure. How long am I gonna look like this? For all of eternity. Joke. Concentrate on how you want to look, and it'll happen. That'll just frustrate you. I want to be with him so bad. You will be. When? When he dies? I don't want to wait that long. You'll be amazed how fast time flies when you're dead. Come on. We have things to do. Matthew? I didn't know I was being followed. Your dad told me you might be here. Really? I'm surprised he had a clue. Oh, he cares a lot more about you than he'll ever let on. Matthew, look. I've been doing some checking, and from what I hear, you don't do drugs. I already told you that. What you tell me is a common denial with nothing to back it up. Sit down. I've been exploring the possibility you may have been drugged, but I need more to go on. I want to believe you, Matthew. I don't, I don't know what happened. One minute, I'm, I'm fine, you know, and then the next, I am loaded. I... The drug we found in your system is prescribed to a lot of people. Do you know anyone who's taking tranquilizers regularly? Do you know anyone who's particularly stressed out? Yeah, everybody I've ever met. Do you have any idea of who would want to do this to you? The whole thing's tragic. Rachel is a good friend. So is Matthew. How close are you and Matthew? To be perfectly honest, I love him. I understand it's not reciprocal. It was once. <laughs> but hey, life goes on. I'm always going to love him no matter what he thinks of me. Matthew says he didn't take any drugs that night. And I believe him. So should you. That means somebody gave it to him without his knowledge. <laughs> you don't think I did it? My job to explore all the possibilities. Oh, my God, I would never do anything to hurt him. 
What about the photo you put in Rachel's locker? Well, that was pure stupidity on my part. I mean, Matthew had every right to be upset, and Rachel... God, I feel like such an ass now. It must have really hurt when he humiliated you in front of everybody. I deserved it. Listen, I know it looks like I had motive or whatever to get even, but drugging him? I mean, that's insane. I would never do something like that in a million years. I appreciate your time, Vanessa. Thank you. Evan Bainbridge yet? No. Why? Well, I'm sure this has nothing to do with what happened, but, um, there's a major rivalry thing happening there. How so? He and Matthew were competing for the CIF title, not to mention a scholarship to Stanford. Thank you. Not bad at all. Very crisp. Well, I found the sweet spot that time. Hey. Why haven't you returned my calls? You know, I've been worried about you. Listen, I gotta go. It was an accident, Matthew. You gotta get over it and move on. I, I don't wanna get into it, all right? Well, I do. This isn't all about you, you know. There are a whole lot of people who are suffering because of this. And there's nothing I can do about that. No, more like nothing you wanna do about it. Maybe if you opened up and stopped shutting everybody I don't out. I talk about it, Les. Just ask yourself what Rachel would be doing right now if it were you who died. Hey, Matt. Hey, Morgan. Daddy, please listen to him.
just, um, I wanted to tell you how sorry I am about uh, all the pain you're going through. And I wish it had been me instead of her. I would trade places in a second. <laughs> I loved her more than anything in my life. Don't ever come back here again. Okay. Okay. Well, that could have gone better. Dad? going the way it's supposed to, because if you really think that any of this is making me feel any better... All it takes is time and patience. Jeez, we're running behind. <sighs> mom doing? I have no idea. She's alive. I know that. I just thought, you know, in your line of work. Oh, this is nice, too. <laughs> Any more recent shots of Matthew around? There's a really nice portrait of him in the den. You don't say. wandering around trying to make sense of everything. I guess you can relate, right? The 
thing is that for a split second, a part of me actually wanted you to pull the trigger so that we could... I miss you so much. Do you remember when you said it's not how long you live, it's how you live? I think you'd agree with me that it's also who you live it with. I know I'm being selfish, but it just kills me to see you with anybody else. Especially her. Look, if you two end up together, I'll deal with it. I just don't want you to be manipulated into anything. I want you to be happy. So, you didn't tell me what you wanted, so I made an executive decision. Angel hair, a la Kek. I guess I should thank you. You don't owe me anything. I'm just glad you're still here. I'm glad I'm not, right? What happened? It's just between us, Matthew. Nobody ever needs to know about it. You have my word on that. Oh, please. You're gonna hold this over his head for the rest of his life. Can't you see what she's doing? You know, we don't have to talk about this. In fact, let's never talk about it again. The future is all that matters. I can't handle this. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. Hey, where's Leslie? Probably getting grilled like I just did. What? Yeah, that lady cop. She was asking me all kinds of questions like I was under suspicion or something. But that's insane. Yeah, tell me about it. So what's plan A tonight? It looks like you've already launched into plan A. I'm not sure what you mean. Getting a bite on the bluff. What you think I meant? You know, I forgot to grab some Parmesan. Can I get you guys anything while I'm up there? So, what's up with you and Vanessa? Nothing. Does she know that? She's the friend of. Since when? Hey, this is the girl that put the picture in Rachel's locker, remember? I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. Yeah, whatever, okay? <laughs> Just trying to make sure you're covered. <sighs> you call this closure? If you'd stayed with me, you wouldn't have seen any of this. Oh, that makes me feel a whole lot better. Life doesn't always have a happy ending, Rachel. Well, tell me something I don't know, okay? Why don't you tell me how I can fix this huge mess that I'm leaving behind, huh? It's not your fault. It is my fault! If I wasn't so lame, I'd still be alive and he wouldn't be going through any of this. I didn't just screw up my life. I screwed up his life. I screwed up my family's life. I screwed up everybody. <laughs> well, there is one thing you can do. It's called channeling, and I don't recommend it. I'll do it. Sometimes things turn out worse. I don't care. I'll do anything. First, you need to find a receptive soul. Someone you trust. Someone Matthew trusts, too. Contrary to what you might think, I'm in no rush to be anything more than a friend right now. I mean, I know how you feel about... felt about Rachel. I just, I felt something back there. 
Never mind. Um, you know what? I just, I'm gonna walk home. All right, thanks anyway. I can't let you do that. Not after what happened. I mean, you're in a fragile state right now. No, I, I mean, I'm, I'm fine. Really. No, you're not. You need me. You, you need a friend. I just want to be alone right now. All right? Concentrate hard, like I told you. Thursday night, only on Sci-Fi. Hi, Molly. Oh, ooh, I know just the spot. Mm. So, how are you doing? Aren't you supposed to be in class? Yeah, I just... I don't know. I felt like coming over and checking up on you. Uh, yeah, come on in. So you must be getting ready for the championship? Uh-huh. I tried to get some laps in this morning, but I don't know. I guess I lost my motivation or something. I'm gonna go for it again after school. You feel like joining me? Uh, I can. I've been suspended, remember? Nobody will be around. I'll be perfectly cool. No, I'm not really into it, Les. You are the best diver in the school, and you're wasting it. You need to get off your butt and get back into shape. I, I can't compete anymore. I'm off the team. And... This is not about competing. Besides, it gets boring doing laps all alone. Think about it, okay? What was I thinking?
thank you for seeing me. I know you have another class in about 15 minutes. I won't take up too much of your time, Mrs. Massey. Just, just a few quick questions. Oh, anything I can do to help. What do you know about Leslie Chambers? <laughs> She's a little wild. An amazing athlete. You know that she has a heart condition. At her age? Mm. It's an arrhythmia, I think. You see, her father died of the same thing, and they think that she may go even sooner. It's very sad. How would you describe her relationship with uh, Matthew Jeanette? Good friends. Nothing romantic. And Evan Bainbridge's relationship with Matthew? Well, they all hang out in the same clique together. Evan's a good kid, too. What about Vanessa Cunningham? Straight A's. Definitely a high achiever. Oh, she's head of the drama club, too. No kidding. I understand her parents are quite successful. Yes, he's one of the top attorneys in town, and she owns an ad agency. Sounds very high stress. Oh, most definitely. I was hoping you'd make it. Come on. Let's get you in shape. We need to talk, Rachel. Remember why you're doing this. It's to help Matthew, not confuse him. Don't forget what you're putting Leslie through. Touching him again just feels so... Oh. I want to be with him so badly. He will be. <sighs> just not now, not this way. I know what I'm doing. There's nothing like an endorphin rush. It's more than that. I've been... I mean, I had a whole plan. Rachel, Stanford, had it all figured out. It totally went out the window. Up until now, I've been feeling like I don't even want it. But right now, this moment, I mean, it's the first time since she died that I actually feel like, I don't know, like it's gonna be a... It's all about the moments, you know? Yeah. You were so right when you said it's not how long you live, it's how you live. I told you that? Yeah, we're at Silk Cove, I think. My point is... I think I made my point. Step out, Rachel. Do you wanna go get something to eat? Say no. That sounds nice. There's something you need to see. You said you wanted to make a difference. The time to do that is now. Whoa. Um... This is really trippy. Uh... You know, R Rachel was my friend. Yeah. You know, maybe this isn't such a good idea. Okay. O okay. What's she looking for? Maybe you should find out.
was you. Okay, somebody needs to find this. Think, Rachel. Come on, come on. I'm sci-fi center. Receptive soul, remember? Then how do we stop her? We don't. He does. Can I help you, miss? Um, <laughs> I lost an earring at the last pep rally, and I just thought I might be able to find it. Did it fall out of the bleachers? No, it's definitely not under there. I must have lost it somewhere else. Well, I've got a paint crew coming in tonight. I'll have them keep an eye out for it. Don't worry about it. It wasn't that expensive. Gotta get back into Leslie's body. Give her a rest. Bills aren't going anywhere. You know, I would really appreciate it if you just tell me everything that's gonna happen. You certainly seem to know. When you were alive, would you have wanted to know every detail of the future? Including knowledge of your own death? Yeah. And maybe I could have kept it from happening. Everything works out the way it's supposed to, Rachel even if it means dying. I'm telling you, Evan, it's really bizarre. First the thing with the mirror, then I'm going over his house. Ooh, has your head done a 360 yet? I'm being serious here. You're stressing, okay? Try dial feedback. <laughs> you know what you should do? Earth to less. I'll meet you in class. Where are you going? To the gym. Why? I left something in there. Gym's closed. But I have to get in there. Wet paint. You got a minute? What can I do for you? Matthew's on his way to school right now. He got his suspension lifted. Yeah, I heard that. I heard you had something to do with it. He needs all the help he can get. And I'm appreciative. But I do not appreciate someone trying to become his father. Like, I'm just trying to do the right thing. Like posting his bail? That was not your decision to make, Coach. It was mine. But you made the wrong one. God, you've got a hell of a nerve. Yeah, well, maybe I do. But I know your son in a way that you don't. Matthew is one of the best kids I've ever coached. I'm not just talking about talent. He's got spirit, determination. I, I just don't buy this crap about him being a drug user. Now, look, I don't want to be his father. He has a perfectly good one already. The man just doesn't realize how much his son needs him right now. Matthew! Hey. I'm glad you're back. Sorry about yesterday. I just kind of... Amped out, I guess. It's, uh, it's no problem. What are you doing tonight? Um, well, I'm uh, not sure. Maybe we could rent a video or something. I've been calling you, but I guess you didn't get the messages. 
Maybe he wanted to be left alone. Don't push it, Rachel. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I should have called you back. Don't worry about it. No, go ahead and call her back, Matthew. Contrary to what you might think, she's in no rush to be anything more than a friend right now. Right, Vanessa? That's right. Let's get to class. I'd say that paint is about dry by now. We need to have a little talk. It was you. I don't know what you're talking about. Just like you don't know how that photo got into my locker, right? What's she gonna do to her? I think you know. I know I haven't done the best job with you. I'm not making excuses. I did what I thought was best at the time. Like that time I sent you off to football camp. You hated it. You probably hated me too, but I just like to think that you got something good out of it. Matt. What I'm trying to say is, I've made some mistakes. I don't want to make any more. I didn't hate you, Dad. Come on. It's OK, Molly. Don't be afraid. Come here. So how about we go get a pizza or something? Good girl. Good girl. OK. Got into her. Good girl. Come on, Molly. Come on, girl. Molly, I'm right here. Just come to the door, girl. Just come to the door.
Good girl, Molly. Good girl. Rachel? Okay, okay. Come on, Molly. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on. Molly, come back here right now. I thought we got her fixed. You'll never catch her on foot. I'm trying not to lose it, okay? But it's not exactly easy under the circumstances. And it's your fault. You put me in this situation. I don't appreciate you messing with my head, either. If you were in my shoes, you'd be doing the same thing, Wes. It's the only thing that makes sense. I've got my whole life ahead of me. Your number was coming up anyway. Why should both of our lives be ruined? Come on, Mom. Come on. Hey, Dad. Look, there she is. Bring me some real food, please. You know, burger, fries, shake, big piece of pie. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Dr. Thank you. Pie, How you feeling? Hungry. How's she doing? Well, other than a nasty contusion, I'd say she's a okay. As soon as your mom arrives, you're out of here. Guess it's time to go, right? Just about. What will I remember about my life, Will? I mean, will I remember the painful things, too? Where you're going, you won't remember much of anything. It's for the best. So, I fully expect you to be kicking my butt tomorrow at practice. You know it. Battles. 
Clear? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't die, Les. Please. Okay, uh, I want her on an epi drip. I'll order up an echocardiogram. Yes, doctor. Don't go dying on me, all right? It's not how long you live. It's your time to go. It always was. I didn't think you'd mind if Rachel used your body a little while longer. No. I don't mind at all. Dive, but you've been disqualified. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Me neither. <laughs> you feel like taking a trip to Australia? Are you serious? Absolutely. It's so strange. I've always wanted to go there. How will it happen? When they come back from their trip, to climb into bed and go to sleep and be with us. What about Matthew? Mm. We'll be watching over him. I guess we'll end up together again anyway, huh? It's amazing how fast time flies when you're alive.
crossing over with John Edward.